Hello beautiful humans, I'm Rise DX and welcome to my channel where today we're doing a full on classic analysis of some gameplay footage when it comes to um, a video game. And so today's, um, I would say, <laughs> autopsy animation <laughs> is Epic Mickey Rebrush. Recently they came out with an 8 minute gameplay video of the game. It's in the Asia boat like level of it and also it contains some footage of the Steamboat Willy projector level. And so I scoured through the footage, I looked at the original footage of the old game and I came up with 20 details that you probably missed about Epic Mickey Rebrush in this gameplay video. So sit back, settle in, we're gonna really dive deep into this gameplay footage. Now, unlike previous games I've covered in terms of remakes and such, I haven't played Epic Mickey. You know, I'm playing through it right now, but unfortunately the experience is still very like fresh to me. So there's probably gonna be some things I'm not gonna pick up on. If there's some things I didn't pick up on that you think should have been in this video, then let me know in the comment section below and I would love to just kind of like um, talk about it with you all. There was also some things that people pointed out in my last video on Epic Mickey Rebrush where I talked about the interview that GameSpot did. So feel free to check that out. But I included some of the comments in this video as well because some of them pointed out things that I actually didn't notice. So it's gonna be really cool to kind of like loop all that information in together as well. But all right, 20 things is a long list. So let's get into it. And number one, breakable objects have this white glossy outline around them to kind of represent that they can be broken. I believe in the original game they had that too, but you know, it wasn't as prominent. So you can definitely tell in the remake footage that like this is stuff that can be broken so it helps to distinguish that a little bit. Number two, this is very interesting but as we all know motion controls are going to be optional in this remake and so a big question was how are they going to implement like the motion controls of the original game into this game? Well it looks like there's going to constantly be a cursor in the center of the screen as you can see in this gameplay footage and what's really interesting about this cursor in particular is that it changes color if you put it over like an object that can be painted or thinned out and so so that only makes it more clear as to like what objects can be like interacted with with your paintbrush versus what can't. And so that's definitely something that I felt like I did a lot of experimentation with in the original game in terms of like, oh, can this be painted or can this be like thinned out? But it's nice that in this remake, that's gonna be a little bit more clear cut as to like what can be painted and what cannot be. And number three, so this is all encompassing the new HUD and specifically the top left corner that contains like Mickey's health and such. And so you can see in the HUD that like Mickey's head is now more of a 3D shaded icon rather than the straight 2D drawing the original. I do know that there's some like people that are really big fans of the original that don't really like this change. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think it looks pretty cool, but um, I don't really have much other thoughts about it, to be honest. What I do have some interesting thoughts on though is that there's now two paint bars. So one for the paint and one for the thinner. So in the original game, you only had one bar and it basically only represented the color that you're doing more of. So if you were doing more thinning, then the bar would represent more thinning. But if you did more paint, then the bar would represent more paint. And so now you can see like how far along you are on both paint and thinner and I'm not really sure how I feel about this to be honest. I mean, it seems perfectly fine to me, but I wonder if that's gonna have any impact in terms of like how your choices like impact the flow of the game and such. So I'm very curious to see how this like works out in the end. And then of course, there's also like hearts to represent Mickey's like health over here compared to what I think is called pips in the original. So, I mean, that's a interesting change. And number four, when you see Mickey double jump, and I don't think anyone else pointed this out, it's a really minor detail. You can actually see some paint splatter from his brush which is really cool. Just a nice little like visual detail that I really enjoyed personally. Also, I can't help but think that the jump sound effect here is different. I'll play them side by side here just so you can kind of hear the difference. <laughs> I will say that Mickey seems to have more often than not like uh, another a little grunt whenever he double jumps now rather than the original game where sometimes he would grunt during a double jump and sometimes he wouldn't. So I feel like every time Mickey double jumped in the remake, he was grunting. So that seems like a bit of an intentional change that they made. And number five, check out the updated dialogue box here compared to the original. Um, I'm wondering if this 2D art that's in the remake is new. Is it new or is it like a render from like concept art or something from the original game? Let me know in the comments section. And number six, something that I definitely appreciate is like how animated the thinner pond now is compared to the original. So in the original is just this like big dark green gloop of blob that's in the ground. But over here you can kind of see it like spilling a little bit everywhere and being a little bit more animated, be a little bit more lively, you know, seemingly more deadly basically. So I really appreciate the little small touches that Purple Lamp is making here. And I'm definitely used to it. Like I definitely saw this kind of stuff a lot during Rehydrate and Cosmic Shake. So it's nice to see that continue on here. And number seven, when you break open these objects, 
graphics as I previously stated, you know, collectibles do come out of it. In the original game, they would take like a few seconds to like get put into Mickey basically, but in the remake, they immediately get collected after you break the object. And so there's less delay in terms of like, you know, breaking the object and, and receiving the award afterwards. So it's another nice little quality of life change they made here. And number eight, check out this death animation when the enemy lands in the thinner. Like, I don't know, that just looks a lot more lively compared to original and I really do appreciate this little detail. And number nine, this is something that I'm personally going to be really appreciating, but I can imagine that some people may have more mixed thoughts about this, but notice how objects that can be painted have a small white outline around them. So it's making it a little bit more obvious in terms of like what objects can be painted versus what can't along with like the cursor that I mentioned earlier. And so this is definitely something that I'm going to appreciate because I have to explore a lot in terms of like figuring out what objects I could paint versus what I can't. I kind of got a little bit more used to the visual style of the game as I kept playing it. So it became a little bit more obvious to me what can be painted versus what can't. But it's nice to have a little bit more clear cut from the get go um, in the remake compared to original. I know some people are going to find an issue with that. Maybe they're thinking that the game's kind of like handing it to them a little bit more compared to original. But I don't know. I'm all for it personally. At number 10, um, I actually can't confirm if this is like a thing or not. But so far in my entire experience playing Epic Mickey so far, this is not something I've been able to do with original. But I've been trying to like paint mid air basically. So I would jump and try to paint and I feel like I just can't do that. You know, it's just something that like Mickey doesn't like paint like in mid air for me. So I can see right here though in this part of the game that like Mickey is actually painting in mid air, which is like really nice, especially if I don't want to use like the cursor controls to like aim the paint somewhere. If I want to just like jump to the object that I want painted and just like press the paint button right there, then that's going to be a really nice way to kind of like expand what you can do with the gameplay and such. And number 11, so I just found this comparison between the original and the remake really interesting. This dragon boat, like it looks really, really different here compared to the original. And I really do like the visual upgrade here. So I just wanted to like spotlight that over here. MJ Cosgrove actually commented in my last video and said that there is now little steps you can climb onto the dragon, which are new, which in a Wii version, you would just kind of like jump onto it. And so that's really, really cool that they have like these little things that they're implementing to make the game a little bit easier to navigate and such. So that's a really cool little change. At number 12, this is something that I thought was really cool, but um, when you get hurt by thinner, the screen temporarily turns black and white. And I think the screen turns black and white temporarily whenever you get damaged in general. So that's just a really cool like little detail that they added to really em emphasize a cartoon feel of this game, which is great because this game is very cartoony, very wacky, despite it's like dark atmosphere. I'm really glad that we're seeing like little changes like that be put in here. At number 13, I just kind of wanted to comment on the color scheme of the game in general. Luke Roberts in particular pointed out a lot of different things about the color scheme over here. You know, for instance, the red tick in the original was more dark and now it's more bright red over here. There's kind of specifically more color in the remake compared to the original, which just seemed very like a little bit more monotone, a little bit more dark aesthetic and such. And especially the green slime particularly something that Luke pointed out over here. The green slime, it was very dark green in the original and now it's a bit more of a lighter green over here. So this is something I was totally expecting with Purple Lamp. When Purple Lamp took Rehydrated, they made everything like so much brighter and so much more saturated and such. So that's kind of like their overall like art style. That wasn't something that I felt like was gonna work with Epic Mickey to be honest, because Epic Mickey is by definition a very dark atmospheric game. And so I was hoping that they wouldn't make it like too bright and such. Judging by the footage we got like this past week though, if you looked at the initial Switch footage that came out during the Nintendo Direct, that footage was so much brighter and so much more saturated compared to what we're getting now, which is a little bit more dimmed down. So it looks like Purple Lamp is actually pulling back on the colors a little bit with the remake now compared to what they were doing before. So that's a really nice positive change because it tells me that Purple Lamp is actually understanding like why this game is the way it was and they're trying to be a little bit more faithful to the original like output of the game. So that's really cool to see. I'm really interested in seeing what the rest of the game looks like. Number 14, this is really cool, but like Gus now appears in the level itself. So in the original game, Gus would just kind of like randomly pop in and just like give you some dialogue, you know, give you a little guidance of what to do. But now you can actually walk over to Gus in the game and activate his dialogue. And this is really cool as well because the game would have just automatically played the dialogue for you in the original. But now you have the option just going up to Gus and getting that dialogue. So it's going to be nice for like people that are like playing this game all over again because they don't necessarily need to be guided through the game the way that Gus would guide you when you first start playing the game. So now you can kind of just like skip past dialogue and just kind of play more more to your style so that's really cool and plus it's nice to see Gus <laughs> in physical form in the game you know that's something that like I don't recall ever seeing <laughs> during my gameplay of Epic Mickey at least so far and number 15 there are some like dialogue sections that are shown throughout the footage 
over here and it is pretty much confirmed to me that there's not going to be any voice acting so this is very much the same case as rehydrated where they just took the voice clips from the original game and put them in the remake no additional voice acting is being done over here so that's a bit of a shame because you know playing through the original i do kind of see that voice acting would have been really beneficial to have in here but that's not going to be a thing here and i'm not really surprised by that and number 16 we're going to go into the steamboat willy section now and there's definitely a lot of interesting things over here i want to point out and the last bullet points in particular i'm really really excited about so let's take a look over here at number 16 the music itself with steamboat willy isn't here it's still having the music from the asia boat level and so i'm assuming this is just like a temporary placeholder and that this isn't like the latest build of game and that the final game will have the actual music that's supposed to be here so don't get too concerned about that at number 17 some people in the comments in my last video point out some of the visual enhancements so let me go ahead and take a look at them uh, matthew leblanc said in the steamboat willy gameplay they added 2d animated water around the wheel of the steamboat the original version had no water at all adds the illusion you're in the short that's really cool i really love seeing that it's a really nice visual upgrade over here and then phoenix windale said not to mention in the steamboat willy section character and certain objects have outlined like in a real old cartoon yeah so it definitely has more of a stylized like cartoon look to it compared to original and i'm really excited about that reminds me a lot of cuphead in particular like that's what these sections always reminded me of but it looks so much more lively now compared to original and i'm loving it and number 18 this is one of the most exciting things i found about this footage but apparently there are multiple reels in these levels now so in the original game with each projector level there was only one reel in each level but now there's multiple reels as you can see over here from this footage like you can barely see the second reel over here on the right and then of course you can see this reel which is a brand new location from the original so that's great you know that means there's going to be more additional content being added to the game basically which i definitely am really appreciating that's something i really wish rehydrated had a little more of it's just more additional content you know beyond the original game and it looks like we're getting like little specks of that epic mickey rebrush which is really cool otis boy also pointed out the new film reel location over here so thank you so much otis and number 19 in fact there's actually lots of new elements to this level compared to the original over here um as luke the fantastic me from my previous video mentioned the steam built willy level has gotten a few changes like adding a switch to release steam clouds from the whistles and the reason that's added over here because that leads into the new real location that we talked about in the previous bullet point and so it looks like there's gonna be new like additions to the gameplay of these projector levels in particular to add more collectibles so there's gonna be more stuff that's unlockable and i'm really curious to see what that stuff is gonna be number 20 this is the last bullet point and it's not the most exciting one to be honest but i thought it was interesting to point out at the very end of the footage mickey enters like the um projector from a different angle compared to original however i think this is just temporary i think in the official like final build of the game he will be entering from that similar angle that we used to from the original game because you look in the trailer footage over here mickey is seen coming out of the projector uh, at the same angle from the original game so i think that's just going to be added back into the game maybe this isn't the most latest build of the game and that's why it's not there yet but i'm sure that'll be in there during the final build of the game all right y'all wow that was a lot <laughs> 20 bullet points definitely takes a lot to get through but i'm really excited about this game and it was really fun taking a look at the footage and just kind of like exploring what's in there and such so uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think about this gameplay footage again if you want some more details about the interview that gamespot did as well then check out my previous video on epic mickey rebrush but i'm excited and it looks like we're getting more content about epic mickey rebrush in the next coming months or so the fact that we're already getting gameplay is a very promising sign we'll hopefully get some more news about this game very soon soon so be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with epic mickey rebrush i am fully committed to covering this game it's gonna be a blast uh, all right y'all thank you so much this is riders riding out just trying something new <laughs>